Good morning guys on this beautiful day here in Kopangan. In today's video we will talk about Craig White's um, lawsuit and he's going to court on the 6th of July and claiming his 1.1 million uh, bitcoins. We are going to talk about Ethereum um, reaching its 10 million block. Uh, congratulations to Ethereum and community with reaching your 10 million block. We are going to talk about the hyperinflation in Iran, which is driving Bitcoin prices really sky high at the moment there. But should you go there to exchange them? And we are talking about uh, Paxel starting this huge uh, fundraising project to help people in Africa. And we will end the video about a movie we saw as a family yesterday. And we think this movie shows us the future we could be going to, but we don't really know if we agree with this kind of future. So start watching the video now and keep watching till the end and let me know what you think about this movie and all the other subjects I spoke about in this video. Good morning guys, welcome to my office. <coughs> welcome on my office guys here on Koh Phangan, Thailand. Yes, a different start. Why a different start? Because I just wanted to show you the south wing of my office. <laughs> No guys, but to be honest, I want to ask you guys something cool. Would you like me to start recording videos on multiple different locations around the island? So that you see more of the island than just my standard office every day. There is a poll. I think it's an I somewhere here or an I somewhere there. Uh, please answer the poll and let me know if you prefer me to walk around different beaches or waterfalls or temples while recording these videos for you guys so you can see a little bit more what the majority will vote for i will do it's an amazing day today in thailand the sun starts shining the clouds disappeared so it's going to be a beautiful sunny day it is really starting to get warm and humid um, but then again i prefer this above the cold that was the start of the video we will start with Greg Wright. Greg Wright will go to court on the 6th of July. And on the 6th of July, we will be seeing if Greg Wright is the true owner of 1.1 million Bitcoins. And if he needs to share these Bitcoins with his former partner, because he claims to be the owner of 50% of all the Bitcoin hodling wallets that Greg Wright owns. If he wins this court case, that would mean he could be part of the huge team that created Bitcoin and he could be the holder of 1.1 million Bitcoins. Um, like you saw in my video yesterday, John McAfee already said something about it being an 11 person team that created Bitcoin and the track right could be part of it and, and that we could figure out ourselves, you know, in uh, in the Satoshi white paper, uh, who was the real Bitcoin inventor and thus Satoshi Nakamoto. I don't know for sure. I, I don't know if I know. I want to know for who it is because I love this beautiful thing that it's decentralized and just a secret among the whole community that nobody really knows who it is. But we will see on the 6th of July if Craig Wright is right or wrong. Okay guys, some hash rate news about Bitcoin. The, the Bitcoin uh, reached an uh, all-time high hash rate, of course, because we will have a halving in about seven days. And in seven days, um, this means that the miners are going to be rewarded 50% of the amount that they are rewarded at the moment. So I think that is, of course, the reason why the hash rate is pushing up in combination with the Bitcoin price going up. So miners just started to mine more intensively because they want to make the most of their uh, mining rigs in the last week before the halving, you know, because now they still earn the full 100%. So that's like 12.5 Bitcoins uh, on every mine block and it will be going to the six area per mine Bitcoin block. So now they want to mine a lot. So they just still earn a lot of Bitcoin. And that I think is the reason for the huge hash rate all time high. And if we look at Ethereum on the other hand, which is also really cool, Ethereum reach is 10 million block. Bitcoin is still around the 628,000 blocks. 
and Ethereum already passed this 10 million block today, which is of course huge news for Ethereum and also shows the difference between Ethereum and Bitcoin because you know Ethereum uh, creates far more blocks every day than Bitcoin does. Um, I don't know what it means uh, for the rest of Ethereum, you know, it just means that the blockchain of Ethereum is becoming bigger and bigger um, and we will see in the future if this has any influence on Ethereum speed or if there will be another Ethereum fork like Ethereum Classic. Um, I read something about a new Ethereum killer around, it's called Poo Near. I think it was called Near. yeah? But I don't know for sure. I will add a link to the article I read about this new supposed uh, Ethereum killer. Okay guys, what I really love about the community is that the community always tries to do good for the world. And this is why I think blockchain and Bitcoin were given to the world to do good for the world, to change the world for the better. Paxful now started this beautiful fundraising project to help uh, the people in Africa with uh, fighting all kinds of diseases, you know, like um, this terrible flu we have seen uh, the last couple of months. Uh, I think it's really cool that Paxful is doing this. Um, as far as I know, they donated $15,000 themselves into this fundraising wallet, but they also promised to match up any other donation that's being done to the fund. Yes, I'm walking into the water because it's bloody hot. So that means that everybody who will donate to the fund um, will be matched up by Paxful. So this could lead to a huge fund to help the people in Africa. Guys, thank you for doing this. Thank you for showing why crypto is there in the world. Thank you for supporting those people in the world that really need it. And I hope, I just hope that you guys will start to pay the people there in Bitcoin or any other crypto cryptocurrency that is uh, widely accepted in Africa so that those people there start to trust these beautiful forms of decentralized peer-to-peer -peer cash and show the power of what these beautiful currencies could mean all over the world. I think the biggest news of today must be that Iran just said we are in a state of hyperinflation. The real lost more than 60% of its value in the last couple of months, which is a huge disaster for the people over there. And they are flooding into all kinds of other currencies like a dollar, but also into Bitcoin. At the moment, <laughs> one Bitcoin is worth 1.5 billion real. 1.5 billion real. The government now suggested to just cut four zeros of the currency. So, you know, it's crazy to even see that this can happen in countries like Iran. But it is happening. So, 1.5 billion dollar for a Bitcoin, which is, if you convert 1.5 billion real to dollar, is 35,000 dollar. So Bitcoin is being sold for $35,000 in Iran. But that again pops up the question, let's say you go there and you sell your Bitcoin for 1.5 billion real. You are the true owner then of this 1.5 billion. Then you need to convert it into dollar and you should be able to get $35,000. But who guarantees you that this will even be possible? Because before you know it, the real crashes to zero and you lose all your money and your bitcoins at the same time. I don't think anybody wants to have this risk. This was all the news for today, guys. I know it's not huge, exciting news. I know it doesn't contain a lot of zeros uh, because we are <coughs> cutting down on zeros in Iran, but it's still 1.5 billion bitcoin price. Maybe that would be a really cool thumbnail because I see that people tick, click the thumbnails more of my videos when it contains a lot of zeros. So the last part of the video, like always, I spent to some family and other uh, subjects. We are in lockdown in Thailand. We don't see it as a lockdown. For us, it feels like just a very quiet, paradise holiday. Thailand is doing really good uh, during this flu period. They even opened all restaurants again yesterday so we are now able even to go to all the restaurants again and enjoy the amazing Thai food um, 
not many rules anymore you know they still have a small curfew which means we are not allowed to go outside between uh, 10 in the evening and 4 in the morning so I don't think this is a huge disaster it just makes us have some more family time in the evenings and watch some movies if we are talking about movies uh, uh, we watched a really cool movie yesterday Wow, this one, I need to mention to you guys, we watched Ready Player One. I don't know who of you guys saw the movie Ready Player One, but Ready Player One is a movie about this virtual reality world we could be living in the future. So people will be more in staying at their houses and just, you know, pop up their VR glasses and then enter this beautiful world where everything is possible where you can climb the mountains together with Batman where you can fly and hoover above all the beautiful places in the world where you can build houses you want where you can you know do the most crazy things you ever wanted to do but then in a virtual world it's a really cool movie that really gives you this insight in how our future could look like um, the kids didn't enjoy the movie as much as we as parents did they were like ah, a little bit boring too much talking uh, but we uh, we already looked forward to this movie because one of our friends told us to watch it and it's on Netflix now and it's just really cool to see that this could happen in the future and if we need to be honest um, we see this slowly happening you know we see people slowly moving into this virtual world already. You know, we see our kids using Minecraft and we see people playing Fortnite, even, you know, going to festivals organized in Fortnite. We see people, you know, upgrading their avatars more and more. So people are spending a lot of money on their online appearance, their avatar. I think there will be like this point in the future that will people will be spending more on their online appearance than their offline appearance and you know this is just one indicator of that people are slowly going digital slowly going virtual and now this whole covid flu thing is also like supporting this you know people are working from home people are using zoom calls more and more people are creating virtual conferences so people are slowly getting used step by step to this virtual world um, where we could be ending up spending like 80% of our time the movie ends really good so in a positive way uh, but you really need to watch it to understand what I'm talking about but it's just crazy cool to see if our technology enhanced a little bit more and if these virtual worlds become like really usable in a very fast way you know that uh, that 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 it looks really real then we could really end up in these worlds because people are so so fed up with the normal world and they are so lost in this normal world they don't even enjoy this normal world anymore that they will be going into this virtual world where they can build a new life where they can build a new image where they can be wherever they want to be and 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 this is i think something that really could play a huge role in the future so watch the movie yes we as a parents also are always discussing and playing with this issue because we don't want our kids to be uh, on their telephone 24 7 or live in this virtual world 24 7 or just be depending on social media and how people love them online we still believe in the true core values of life and that there needs to be an interaction and that the offline appearance and the offline social community is very important as well but you know, this is just the struggles you as a family have and I think more people have let me know what you think about this uh, virtual world let me know what you think about kids spending time on their iPads computers how many hours per day are your children allowed to use these beautiful addictive devices that was the video for today guys I hope you liked the video if you like the video please give it a thumbs up please share it in your communities 
um, subscribe to our channel because we have seen our sub uh, subscribers growing the last like three weeks with more than 30 percent and we hope to see some more growth so you can start to monetize the channel and maybe even hit the bell button so you will be notified on every new video i make thanks again for watching i wish you an amazing day today from this beautiful island here in Kobuk, uh, in thailand on this beautiful beach in chalaklam and i'm looking forward to your answers in my poll if you would love me to change from office day by day oh my god guys i already said goodbye to you guys without even talking about the bitcoin price i totally forget to talk about it that's how you see how important i find the price <laughs> not the price guys you know we had a huge run up from 7.7 .7 to 9.8 like we are now hovering between like 8.5 and 10k we are going up down up down so this means Bitcoin doesn't know or the market doesn't know really what it wants to do. Um, it's a difficult, difficult thing at the moment. I think we could see a more pullback to 7K before we go up again. Um, but on the other hand, it's Bitcoin and there is a lot of billions worth of stable coins into the market in the last uh, two months. So we could even see another run up to 10.5 or even higher, you know. It is Bitcoin, you never know. There are some indicators telling us we have a pullback and there are some indicators telling us we are going to go up. Um, the future will show. If you just play the game in a wise way and you always diversify your Bitcoins or your portfolio, then you will never have this huge risk of losing everything and you will still be able to huddle Bitcoin at the same time and make some profits. This is a game we as a family have been playing for some time now. Yes, we had to learn to play this game with like ups and downs. We lost some, we won some. But now after like three and a half years traveling the world solely on cryptocurrency and being fully dependent on cryptocurrency, we kind of figured out how to play this game. So if you need any help in how to structure your portfolio so you don't you don't have all the risk of losing everything but still are able to make some profit with bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies and live a beautiful life of this then please contact me tag me uh, by sending me a private message i'm happy to guide you guys in this difficult world of managing your portfolio so let me know if i can help you in any kind of way um, by sending me a private message guys uh, I, again i wish you a beautiful day make the best of it live life to the fullest every day in your life and because that is how you make life just a beautiful thing please take a look at our descriptions below the video because i put it full with amazing links to get you started into bitcoin to simplify the use of bitcoin and um, yes they are all affiliate links but yes they also make it possible for us to make this video every day and to share the revenue we make with the videos with the poor people all over the world which we will share through making more videos again and show you guys what we are doing with it thank you have a beautiful day and see you tomorrow again bye <laughs>